done for that patient because we would be paying all the you know all the infrastructure costs the gas the electricity and so forth do the math tell me that your pagers don't cost you a dollar a month right now but when you do the math look very carefully at what you're what you're paying to keep your pager system up and running so that's something that's on the forefront Larry you'll actually see that at the steering committee on the 27th or Jeff Lemming will as a here's the, here you know here's kind of the next thing we're going to be able to offer um, and then I got to read a couple sections of law because I know this will Larry kind of referred to this here is the law of the great state of Ohio effective July 1st of 2015 Upon the request of the Director of Administrative Services, that's my direct boss, the Director of OBM shall, shall transfer up to $2 million in cash in each fiscal year from the GRF to the Marks Administration Fund to reduce or eliminate Marks subscriber fees paid by villages. How many of you in here are in a village? Three viz, I know that. Townships, anybody in here in a township? Municipal corporations, any municipalities in here? Counties, any counties in here? and regional public safety and first response agencies classified as tier one subscribers by the mark steering committee tier one subscribers simply means you're paying twenty dollars a month today for your unlimited push to talk use of the marks radio system who in here said they're already on marks all right so you're paying 20 bucks a month right sir where are you from uh, medway 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 that's i should have known with it <laughs> I was, was going to ask somebody who the crook was here in the room, but I wanted to be a little bit more <laughs> Exactly. Right. I fully understand that. So that means, but so you are a county or a regional system, right? County. So the bad news is I'm here to tell you, and I'll go out on a limb. Don't quote me on this because it won't be official until July 27th when Larry and the rest of the steering committee approves it. Your user fees next year will probably will probably be cut in half. So instead of paying 20 bucks a month, you're going to be paying 10 bucks a month. The only reason they won't be cut in half is if there's more users out there than you know the two million will cover, which isn't going to happen in, in fiscal of 16. It might happen in fiscal 17, but I'll ask Commissioner Carmichael and Marshall Flowers. This is now in the state uh, budget, the biannual state budget likelihood next time in the biannual state budget is if all of this money gets spent which means it shows that we are doing that partnership thing is that two million dollars going to go up or down probably going to go up so with it and i gotta i got we ha i have to publicly thank larry flowers because i think he was probably with with cliff height were probably the two biggest movers and shakers on this in the in the legislature so marshall way to go now the other thing I want to read real quickly is, and that was, but for any of you who want to write it down, that's section 207.180. It's in the law, it's in the books. Now let's go to section 701.120, um, and it says, there is hereby established the Local Government Safety Capital Grant Program to be administered by the Local Government Innovation Council. And under the program, the council may award grants to political subdivision for the use of purchase of vehicles, equipment, facilities, or systems need to enhance public safety. It's a grant. There's $20 million in it this year for fiscal year 16. There should be $20 million in it for fiscal year 17. Does it sound like you could use that to buy radio equipment or radio tower peripherals and so forth? And the answer is yes. So some of you have already probably heard of the Local Government Innovation Fund, which gives you 10-year interest-free loans for this kind of stuff. In addition to that, because it's still in the budget, you now have a chance to go for part of that $20 million statewide grant, which means you don't pay it back. So whoever your best grant writer is, buy them lunch and get to work on that. Because, Larry, I don't think that's real big-time public knowledge yet, but it ain't going to take long. They didn't tap the uh, loan because of the payback requirement. This now is a grant, so that's good. Um, two last things. Number one, uh, and I'll just say this because it's true, you can't build and maintain a radio system that's as good as if we build and maintain it together. You just can't do it. You don't have the money to do that. We want to partner with you and build the best radio system that we possibly can afford in Wayne County. And the governor's told me this personally, my job is to go out 
and interact with folks to see what the fit is. There's some real potential fits here in Wayne County, um, and we're not going to go away. And the reason I say we're not going to go away is that we now have an agreement in writing with Motorola that supports our system, and, it, and we have fixed costs for the support of the system, and also provides for necessary upgrades, because all these things are nowadays are computers, provides for necessary software and hardware upgrades through the year 2039, and it's all in writing. So one of the things that we heard loud and clear from our folks as we're partnering, we don't want to have to come back and suffer through this another or again in five or ten years. So we have our largest single risk in our statewide platform covered in writing for the next 24 years. I think we can be pretty proud of that. So that's a good thing. So that with that, um, hopefully I didn't bore everybody to tears. Um, God bless America, God bless Wayne County, and thanks for your patience. Any questions for me, or for me? That's the kind of questions I like. Joe, it's all yours. Thanks very much for your time. I appreciate it.